2024 State of Agricultural Commodity Markets Report explores the role of trade in promoting better nutrition. Economic growth and development significantly influence our food choices. The diets of those living on a low income largely consist of staples like rice and maize. With higher incomes, people eat more diverse diets, consuming fewer staples and more meat, dairy products, fruits, vegetables, oils, and fats. When countries trade, the availability of nutritious foods increases while their prices decline. But at the same time, trade can also make caloric and unhealthy foods, such as ultra-processed snacks and sugary beverages, more accessible. For some countries, this could contribute to poorer nutritional outcomes. Trade is integral to our agri-food systems, moving food from surplus to deficit regions. It is crucial for food security, as not all countries can produce enough food due to scarce resources such as land and water or an unfavorable climate. And we know that diverse diets are key for our health. Trade doubles the diversity of available foods. Therefore, Trade is fundamental for countries with limited food production capacity. For example, a small island in the Pacific produces only 15 types of terrestrial foods, while one of the world's largest countries by land area produces around 320. Trade also facilitates the flow of important nutrients like calcium and vitamin C to countries with insufficient production. Countries open to trade provide their populations with a better nutrient supply. With adequate policies in place, the impact of trade on nutrition can be positive. Bringing together trade and nutrition, policymakers can enhance coherence in policy, leading to improved access to nutritious foods and healthier diets globally.